GLP, Good Laboratory Practice. What does it mean, and how can it help startup companies? The definition of Good Laboratory Practice, GLP, is given by the OECD, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a quality system concerned with the organizational process and the conditions under which non-clinical health and environmental safety studies are planned, performed, monitored, recorded, archived, and reported. This definition has been applied in OECD member states and has been implemented in the countries by corresponding laws, like, for example, the EU Directive 2004-10-EC, or in the U.S. by 21 Code of Federal Regulations 58. The GLP principles, in their strict regulatory sense, apply only to such studies on pharmaceuticals, which are non-clinical, that are to say mostly conducted in animals or in vitro, and include analytical aspects, are conceived to obtain data on the properties and or safety with respect to human health and or the environment of the tested substances are intended to be submitted to a national registration authority for the purposes of registering or licensing the tested substance or any product derived from it. Let's have a detailed look to the first step to identify possible safety concerns, the non-clinical safety studies. We can decide between three types of evaluations. Toxicity studies are as follows. General toxicity studies, genotoxicity studies, reproductive toxicity studies, carcinogenicity studies. Safety pharmacology studies are as follows. Cardiovascular, respiratory, CNS, and pharmacokinetics and toxicokinetics evaluation included in GLP toxicity studies. Let's have a final look to the impact of the good laboratory practice in the laboratory. Even for laboratories that do not claim GLP, several aspects of GLP can be applied in daily work to support sustainable results, such as the definition of resources, organization, personnel, facilities, equipment, requirement of study director, rules, protocols, standard operating procedures, concept of the study director as the pivotal point of study control, characterization, test items, test systems, documentation, raw data, final report, archives, quality assurance, independence from study conduct.